So after that sensational end to the sort of the, at the very end of the uh, first round by Sean Cairns in the previous fight, we're now in the penultimate contest. We have got Mason Cartwright. Uh, I thought there was another one on with Nathan Paulus or the other guy. That's last. That's last. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we've got Mason Cartwright on against uh, Garner's Daniel Larty. Mason, of course, brought a big following here from uh, from Esmere Port. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry to leave Ricky uh, on his own for a few few minutes there I was just uh, at a comfort break and then I saw the radiator because it's absolutely freezing <laughs> cold in here tonight as it always is Rick isn't it always well not so much in the summer like it's sweltering yeah, in the summer but yeah. like this time of year it's, just, it's not getting any better is it but yeah. Mason on the uh, I've, I've seen Mason before yeah he's uh, you know, always been good following yeah um, he's, he's looking to yeah he, he can punch and he's looking for the stoppage you know he's had He's had 16 stoppages in, in 19, uh, 16 wins, sorry, in 19 fights. Um, and half of them have been by stoppage, so I think this is what he's looking for here. Yeah. Straight away. So he's beat his heavy hands. Looking at how it's going, I mean, you know, can't do else again, but it's a bit early yet. Let's see how we go. We've had a couple of stoppages tonight. This is uh, scheduled for six. Yeah. Um, he's sporting a new haircut as well, isn't he? I've not seen him with the braids before now. Like. Yeah, yeah. Probably last, like, probably if even if he goes to six rounds, that probably lasts longer than <laughs> longer than the six rounds. Yeah, is it? Is it? His plat will stay in for a bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But Mason did look like a name to follow, and the uh, you know obviously before COVID hit and everything, and it looked like he was uh, you know. Oh, it does look it does look a bit hurt there. Ooh. Oh, great body shot yep. that. But yeah, he always had he always had heavy hands, didn't he? I mean, you know, he's um, what is, how many's he got? He's only had like two losses against the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's not done too bad. With Darren Settley, it was just unfortunate that he had the see the state of his got like the how bad the court was right around his mouth yeah. when he fought him. And then when he fought Danny Ball, I think he just he just got caught and well, that was that. Yeah. You know I mean? But other than that, I mean, he's been pretty impressive. He's yeah, yeah. He's, I just, yeah, as I said, he was he was one to watch, and I think you know maybe uh, getting those minor titles to the central area in the English. And then uh, just got, got those losses. Then COVID came in, so yeah. he's looking to gain, uh, get, a, get, get a, another win, and, and yeah. get that, regain that momentum that he had at the time, and yeah. looking to make a statement. Because you know he's, he's, he's not one of them who's going to be boxing behind a jab, is he? No. Quick on his feet, he's really looking to pile it on here. Yeah. I mean, when he was fighting, he fought uh, when he fought Danny Ball. That was for the WBC silver. But uh, I think he just got caught early on, and well, you know, the rest is history. But up until that point, it was it was turning into a bit of a decent fight at the time. Yeah. But uh, I mean, with the other one, when his gob was cut open and that, yeah, I mean, you should have seen the stage fit, but he's got his little videos out, and he's like pushing like the bits of his face out with his tongue and that, and it was, it was grim like that cut that he had on his gob. You should see the stage of the scar, man. Well, that was a good, good round by him there. I think he's uh, obviously he rocked his opponent a little bit. He did, didn't look like he was going to get out of there, but definitely heavy hands and. Definitely looking for the stoppage.
Bit of a de delay. It looks like the fighter and the what? trainer are arguing. The oh, fighter and the trainer are arguing. He doesn't want to carry on, but the trainer wanted him to come out. You don't see you don't see that that often. I mean, he was hurt a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think he was complaining about his, his either his stomach or his mouth or his jaw. I don't know. But there they are arguing again. Uh, so Mason gets a stoppage there. It'll be interesting to see what the decision is. Yeah. So that's another early stoppage. And uh, yeah. Nathan, I just saw Nathan in the back there. I don't think he was warming up. So it might be a bit of a delay before the last fight. I went to go in the back before, and the surely wouldn't let me in. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, like, to be honest with you. I thought he was going to carry on, but it is what it is, isn't it? For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.